we have a two million dollar button freedom family that I pushed today, I'll show it to you, when we sent you, collective all of you, 2.1 million dollars for all your hard work in March and April. Here is the button behind me in our earnings UI, what we use to pay all of you each month. This is the button right here, pay all, that I pushed to send you this much money, 2.1 million dollars. Hey Alan, Alan's our developer, what would happen if I pushed this button again? Would we pay everybody twice? Alan's running away. See, we have this agreement. If there is a bug in our code for paying partners, then it comes out of Alan's pockets. I'm kidding, we don't have such a rule. I actually don't know what would happen if I pushed that button again, but let's not find out. If you didn't get your portion of that $2.1 million, but think you should, click that eye to see the video about catch-up payments that we use to pay you in case you gave us the wrong PayPal email or the wrong wire info, and we'll send you that money in a few days. You don't have to wait till the next payment cycle at the end of next month. It is happy news whenever we get to pay you millions of dollars each month. What isn't so happy news is what I made a video about yesterday. I just noticed this message in my Creator Studio that said, you may see more content ID claims if you use third-party content in your videos. Click that eye to see yesterday's video that explains exactly what this message is about and clicking learn more, I walk through that help article in yesterday's video. How does that make you feel, guys? I know yesterday you mentioned many of you use original content, so you don't need to worry about getting permission. For those of you who use other people's videos, you asked, hey, if I get written permission, how do I show YouTube that permission? If my channel does get YPP suspended, how do I get that resolved if YouTube isn't listening to me? Well, that's why you're partnered with Freedom, right? We help. We can escalate any evidence you send us by emailing freedom, uh, support at freedom.tm. I always get that backwards. That evidence, then we'll escalate it to our internal YouTube partner manager team, and then we can help you get channels recovered or reinstated. Hope this helps. Now let's read some of your deserving comments, Freedom Family, starting with Master Adit, who wrote two hours ago, a Freedom Coach. That's an amazing idea. Yesterday I mentioned we are training our staff now to do one-on-one -on -one outreaches with all of you in the Freedom Family to be your coach, to give you personal advice, to check in at least once a month on email or Skype. You can chat about the weather if you like, but the goal is to give you tips that you can use to grow faster with one-on-one -on -one coaching. Natho24 asked, do you smoke, George? I'm not sure why you would ask that question, Nath, but the answer is no, I don't. Fine Gaming Connoisseur wrote four hours ago, I'm not against quality, mind you, but hear me out here. His main point is that YouTube is doing whatever it wants to do, that it doesn't seem to have an end. One day we could all wake up and realize gaming doesn't fit in the definition of quality. And if that happens, what about all the gamers on YouTube? Remember, YouTube is focused on advertiser confidence. They want to increase content quality so that brands come back to the platform and buy ads because that's how they make money. So yes, one day, maybe, YouTube will say, gaming is not allowed on the platform anymore because advertisers don't want it. It's possible. However, I don't think that'll ever happen, guys. Remember, a brand usually has very specific goals. Some want gaming, others want beauty, others want travel because there's many products out there to advertise. So as long as there is a product that gamers are good to advertise with, there will always be gaming on the platform. And that goes true for any kind of content. Hope this helps. Crossover Incorporated asked, Hey George, I would like to know if my channel is following the rules. And Freedom replied, this is our YouTube support team, Hey, you can actually ask our community as well if your channel is safe. Did you know you can go to www.community.tm and ask for a channel review? We do those every day. We do many each day on our website. So please go there and in the introduce yourself forum, introduce yourself. You will find you'll get a few new subscribers and a few helpful replies, even just to an introduction post and read what other people have done written to introduce themselves. That's part of what makes freedom special. 
We help the community grow by moderating and posting in our own forums, but encouraging everyone to do so, so that you can make new friends and discover new people to collaborate with. And answer questions like, is my channel following the rules? Hope this helps. Twilight Prince wrote, YouTube is undergoing great changes. I think you meant a great many changes, not that the changes are great, right? But I understand why they do it. I still make gaming related content and since a few months ago, I finally started using commentary. That's awesome, Twilight Prince. How many of you started using commentary recently? I believe that's the best way to grow your audience because you add that personal touch, your humor, your unique je ne sais quoi, something special about you. If you're just playing the game audio with none of your unique je ne sais quoi, then people don't have as much reason to subscribe to your channel. Remember, YouTube is about the personality, not so much about the content. So show your personality, do commentary. How many of you still don't do commentary? Tell us why down there in the comments below. If you're thinking like, my microphone sucks or my voice sucks, it's okay, just use your cell phone or something else that can record your audio. Cell phones actually have a very good audio quality, much better than most microphones. That's what I did. When I was in Vietnam, I used my own cell phone to record all the Giorgio episodes, and I actually thought the audio quality was almost as good as this little guy, the Black Blue Yeti. Of course, the Black Blue Yeti is better, but it was pretty close. Tell us, guys, what other microphones do you use that can be bought on a budget? This Blue Yeti costs about 100 US dollars, so it's not the cheapest microphone. But if you can afford it, I encourage you to buy exactly this one. I think it's the best in class for the price. Do you have any other suggestions for good value for microphones? Tell us down there in the comments below so that we can all help each other grow together as a family, which is the spirit of freedom. And in fact, we have a mission statement now. Roll it! We may still tweak that mission statement, but I'm quite happy with it as I think it embodies what the mission of freedom is and it has some pretty cool music too. Do you agree? Any other suggestions? Tell me down there in the comments below. Lambo Games asked a how do I get more views question. He said he created a set of 12 videos that he started working on in August and he doesn't want to just end up getting 100 views for each video because he's putting endless hours of work into them. So the suggestion from our helpful Freedom Support team is, hey there, that's awesome, keep up the good work. You can share it on our forums page where partners can be aware of your new content. You can also post your videos on your social network. Hope this helps. This is at www.community.tm. You can also promote your best work there and we will highlight and feature great videos so everyone can discover them and you can get more views. Abinav, aka Demkeys, wrote a book which I appreciate because you always write thoughtful and thorough comments. And in this particular one, you were saying, George, about the excitement, if you're not forcing it, if it's genuine excitement, I don't think you should have to tone it down. You're passionate and the excitement is flowing out of you, great. I've had a lot of feedback from people saying, I am okay at my excitement level. Others saying, I get a little too excited and it's hard to listen to me, it sounds fake. So I'm going to try to tone it down a little and have a more calm conversation with all of you. Maybe I should also do more live streaming or should start live streaming because I think that is also a more natural way to express myself. Speaking of live streaming, as a slight digression, how many of you stream on Twitch? I've been told by some of our staff that Twitch streaming has become a lot more profitable. Even small streams are able to make good money like $20 a day for streaming four hours because Amazon has created a lot of new monetization abilities. For example, I'm told if someone donates to your stream, they also get free stuff that they can buy on Amazon, like games. I did not know that. Is that true? Tell me down there in the comments below. I also was told Amazon provides a lot more uh, ability to make affiliate marketing. So if you're playing a game, someone can actually 
uh, buy in-game currency of that game, and then you, the streamer, get 10%. That sounds like almost magic, but if that's true, that's also a great way for people to get money by having their audience play with them and buy currency in their favorite games, and then the streamer gets a portion of that because they're encouraging the sale. I think it's a great idea, I just didn't know that was possible. If it is, tell us, all of us, down there in the comments below. Back to Abenav, aka Demkeys, he was also worried about the new content ID system. He said that we may be in for a rough ride and then he's expecting there to be a lot of issues initially as we have seen in the past if there's no if there's AI involved initially it might be buggy and that's I think why YouTube is only doing this for new uploads if you read the article from yesterday's video carefully they said that they will not be scanning the back catalog of YouTube just new uploads in June so Depending on how it goes, they'll start scanning the rest of YouTube, the older videos that were uploaded uh, in chrono chronological order. So we're going to get a chance to see how this affects us in June and we'll follow it closely. Selfish Eagle wrote, he will not be rejoining Freedom when his channel grows past the 4K, 1K mark, which is when he can rejoin a network. He wrote that, guys, I'm sorry to say, but Freedom are all about helping channels big and small yet I received no help at all no matter how many videos I've commented on. I was with Freedom for two years until the 4k 1k rule fell into place. I'm not saying this is the same for everyone it's just my personal experience I'm sorry but I won't be rejoining Freedom if I do get past the 4k 1k rule. Selfish Eagle I'm really sorry to hear about this but let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever tried to connect with us on our Discord chat server? And oh, we had the wrong link in our video description last time. Thank you for pointing that out. The link down there in the description below is now the correct link to join the Freedom Discord server. Have you joined it? Have you asked for help? Have you signed up for an account at www.community.tm and have you tried to introduce yourself? Have you tried to ask for a channel review or tips to grow faster specific to your content? Those are the places where you need to go to get help. Yes, in the past, I did review channels on The George Show, and I haven't been doing it lately because I was actually getting a lot of criticism from people saying, hey, you reviewed that channel. How come you didn't review my channel? And I realized, okay, I see that this is actually having a negative effect, where yes, of course, the person whose channel I do review likes that, but then the 10 other people who didn't get reviewed don't. So the net is a negative. That does not to say I'm not gonna review channels ever again. I will, I just need to put it into a, a forum or maybe a lottery or something where people don't complain <laughs> if I don't pick them. More on that later. But my point is Selfish Eagle, you do have to spend a little effort yourself to ask for help and not just expect the help to come to you without even trying. Hope this helps, and I hope you also rejoin us when you cross the 4K, 1K mark again, and I hope we can help you get there sooner. Remember, we have a lot of ways to help you grow, even if you're not in our CMS because of the 4K, 1K rule, you can still use all the music in Epidemic Sound, Audio Micro, Music Factory, and what was the third one? Position Music, or fourth one. We also have 3D sets that you can use in the Shiny Freedom dashboard, even if you were unlinked by YouTube for not being a big enough channel on February 20th. So please use those resources to help you grow faster and get to the 4K, 1K mark. And let's all help each other grow together as a family, which is the spirit of freedom. So this video is getting a little long. There is no end to these comments, guys. You guys leave amazing comments. I would like to read more of them. But I think I'm losing my audience for every minute after like 10 minutes that these videos continue on. So let's do this in the next episode of The George Show. Who am I? I am your Papa George. George Sunpai and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of a black shirt that doesn't say freedom. I like this shirt, guys. I actually feel good in it. I look a little slimmer, I think, in it. So I think I'll be wearing this for all of my episodes, except when I need to wash the shirt. So I'm the CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family and all the amazing people that are part of that family. Whether or not you're in our CMS, to me, that doesn't matter. The fact that you are still talking with us, watching these videos, posting on our forums, chatting in our Discord, 
That's what's important because that's how you will grow faster. Collaboration is the fastest way to grow on YouTube. If you try to do it yourself without collaboration, you're just gonna grow slowly, more and more slowly. You get the point. Collaborate and find collaborators in the ways that we've given you or anywhere that you find works for you to find people to make videos with. Until the next episode, Freedom Family, I am George and you've been watching Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.